All right. My next guest was quoted in the Wall Street Journal this morning as saying, quote, if you screw up prices, the sense of urgency is blown. She was referring to two apartments at 778 Park Avenue here in Manhattan that went for way under the initial asking price. Joining me is Dolly Lenz, a top selling broker at Prudential Douglas Element. Who screwed up? What happened? Well, they were just, you know, sometimes when you're in a competitive situation and you want to get the listing, you know, you say it's worth more than maybe you really think it is in order to secure the listing. And that's likely what happened in both these cases. They were always worth more or less what they traded at. What does this mean for this market, for what you've been seeing at least for the past couple of years? Because we talked earlier today, we've been talking pre-Lehman and now levels seem to be leveling off. But what have you seen in the past couple of years, especially here in New York City in the luxury apartment market? Well, I find that New York City just about escaped everything. You know, we're, we're very fortunate on a residential luxury market standpoint. Why do you suppose that was? You know, I think that people in New York didn't have to sell. So there was no mm. underwater, there was no having to sell. You know, sellers were secure in their money, so it wasn't an issue. They, they, they didn't need the income. They didn't have to sell for the income. Exactly, or for the proceeds or for anything else. Nobody was forcing them. So I think that was a difference between us and Vegas, us and Florida, us and all the other markets that weren't good. These two apartments that we're talking about at mm -hmm. 778 Park, mm -hmm. You say they were marketing errors. What, what, what exactly does that mean? Well, what I, what I meant in that discussion was that they overpriced it, likely to secure a listing, or they made a mistake in pricing. Okay. If you overprice something and you put it on the market, you suddenly don't have a sense of urgency from any purchaser because they realize, well, gee, this is going to be on the market for a while. There's no sense to rush in. And that wind up being the story. And tell us the two apartments yes. in question, one owned we just saw by William Buckley, the yes. other by Brooke Astor, correct? Yes, correct. So we're, we're talking about, I, I hate to use the term famous apartments, mm -hmm. but there's a history there. There's a culture there, a, a, a history, if you will, of New York City. Yes. Does, how much exponentially does that increase the value of the property? It does increase the value of the property. Property, but the properties were so wonderful. It's such a wonderful building. They were so beautiful, although maybe needed some work, but they were beautiful apartments. You almost didn't need, you know, the star factor in the sales. Is the market now coming back to reality? Well, I guess it depends on your definition of reality. Uh, to me, the market was pretty much always at reality. I think the commercial markets were somewhat hit, other than the odd Google sale or something like that. Because we could see going all through New York City, right? See all these holes. Nobody's building. You know, everybody can't secure financing at the right price level, so they're not building. They're not proceeding with deals they had made years ago. You know, when the merry-go-round stopped, they didn't have a place to stay. So. Those markets, I think, are leveling off and, and finally, hopefully, seeing some light to get clearance for the future. But the, but the residential high-end market really just never budged. Speaking of the future, going mm -hmm. forward into 2011, what does the market look like here in New York City? The luxury market? Yeah. I, I think the luxury market looks very good. I mean, everybody wants an apartment in New York. Everybody in China, everybody in Russia, everybody in India, you know, wants an apartment in New York City. And as long as everybody wants an apartment in New York, and New York is a financial and otherwise wonderful capital of the world, we're going to be in good stead. Can you use the housing market here in New York, the luxury apartment market, as a barometer for how the economy is going, particularly in this city? Unemployment rate, I think, right now is about 8.2 or 8.3 percent. Does that give you a gauge of where people are in their personal finances? finances and in job security? Well, it, it could only give you a gauge of the luxury market. So yes, the luxury market follows. So the banks did very well this year. Everything on the luxury level did well. What didn't do well is some of the non-luxury stuff, and mm. that, that would follow that market versus the luxury market. You've been at this for a long time. Is this more or less cyclical for you? It, it is cyclical, um, but we really escaped it much better this time than the last few times. The last few times we're actually embroiled in the problem. Mm. I mean, this time... What, what was the difference between last time and now? Well, last time, all of the markets went down. This time, the luxury market stayed up, meaning that people didn't have to sell, so they waited for a very high price. There was no depth in that market. But they knew that price was coming, did they yes, not? They, yes. Yeah. Well, they thought they knew, and oh. in fact, they did know that the price was coming, and they did get it, and they waited for it. And that's what we see happening this time. Last time, I think everyone lost confidence, so then all the markets went down, and we yeah. saw them go down. Are you optimistic going forward? 2011, 2012, that we're going to see a, a rise back to property values that you've seen like within the last four or five years? 
If we're New York City specific, Manhattan specific, mm -hmm. I'm very optimistic about New York City uh, and, and Manhattan specific. Outside Manhattan, I don't know. There are some areas that need work, that need other capital infusion, that need people to get involved. But New York City specific, very optimistic. And, and, and don't have that cachet of being Manhattan. Exactly. And, and, and don't have an island and don't have, you know, <laughs> et cetera. Right, exactly. All right. Dolly Lenz, Prudential mm -hmm. Douglas Elliman joining us here on set. Thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank Happy, you. New, Happy New, New Year. Year. You Thank too. you. Thank